and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Indonesia to move capital to new city in Borneo jungle. Jakarta's agglomeration, home to more than 30 million people, has long been plagued by various infrastructure problems and congestion. Frequent flooding and climate change fears also led some climate specialists to warn that the huge city could literally sink underwater by 2050. Indonesia appears to be set to get a new capital city soon. Indonesian lawmakers today voted to support a law approving the relocation that would see the nation's capital moving some 2,000 kilometers away from the city of Jakarta on the island of Java. The initiative was first announced by President Joko Widodo back in April 2019. New legislation passed by Indonesia's parliament approves the relocation of the nation's capital from Jakarta to a new city to be built from scratch on one of Indonesia's biggest islands. Called Nusantara, the new city will be built on a jungle-clad patch of land in the East Kalimantan province on the island of Borneo, that Indonesia shares with Malaysia and Brunei. Problems faced by the current capital were cited as the reason for the sudden move. Jakarta's agglomeration, home to more than 30 million people, has long been plagued by various infrastructure problems and congestion. Frequent flooding and climate change fears also led some climate specialists to warn that the huge city could literally sink underwater by 2050. Now, Indonesia is apparently determined to build an environmentally friendly utopia on a forested patch of 56,180 hectares in Borneo. A total of 256,142 hectares have been reserved for the project, with most land intended for potential future city expansion. This capital will not only have government offices, we want to build a new smart metropolis that can be a magnet for global talent and a center of innovation, Widodo said in a speech at a local university on Monday. The president also said that the new capital's residents would be able to bike and walk everywhere because there are zero emissions. The project, however, has already drawn criticism from environmental activists, who argue that further urbanization of Borneo would endanger local rainforest ecosystems already affected by mining and palm oil plantations. The project's costs have not been officially revealed but some earlier media reports suggested they might amount to $33 billion. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.